Welcome to Touring Britain Adventures. Let me introduce you to Pendragon Castle, a ruin that was built in the 12th century. And in fact, one of the owners, Lord of Westmoreland, was involved in 1170 in the murder of Thomas Becket. So it's got a lot of history and heritage, this building. It's down in Malastang region. Let me just show you that behind me here. The beautiful Malastang area. And also the location of Wild Boar Fell, where the last wild boar, reputedly, was killed in England. Let me just show you around the ruins of the castle. The nearby high point over there on Malastang Edge is in fact named after Lord Westmoreland, known as Hugh's seat because he was Sir Hugh de Morville. Another owner spent much of her remaining years in the castle until her death in 1334. And Lady Idione, the name of the person, is also responsible for building Church of St Mary in the nearby hamlet of Outhgill. But just look at the thickness of those walls. Still standing after 900 years. This was also built long before Henry VIII, that nasty tyrant. And just look through there, look. Windows. And down this area here, a door leading in. Let's go in. The castle itself was actually attacked by the Scots twice in the 1300s and in the last time in 1542, where it became a ruin. And it became a ruin until the 1600s when Lady Anne Clifford took control of it. And she was prolific in the area. Not only was she involved in here, she was also involved in Appleby Castle, Brough Castle and Broom Castle nearer to Penrith. She had a passion for maintaining the castles and making them habitable again. But over the years, there was a second story put on, but as you can see, that's now long gone and it became rubble. The rubble was eventually cleaned up. But why don't we have a look from above? 